TA, uh, four for four start for you tonight. I mean, what, what were you seeing tonight? How were they pitching you? Uh, they were attacking me with fastballs to get ahead, and you know that's how they got me out in Texas A&M. Got early, got here early today with Mac, and uh, got in the cage, man. And I was like, I'm not staying above balls like, I, like I've done my whole life. I've been really getting above, like under balls, and that's why fastballs been getting by me. So I really focused on staying above every ball during BP, and it turned out to help me tonight. And uh, you know, we all swung the bat really well. They jumped out a 7-0 lead, but I feel like we showed some character to be able to fight back all night long. So you say that session in the cage earlier today got you and Matt Allen a little bit? It did. You know, um, <laughs> he's he, me and him, we had not have a great weekend at Texas A&M by no means. And uh, when I got home, I was like, man, I talked to my dad a little bit, talked to Coach Gotro some, and I'm just like, like I said, I got to get back on top of the ball because I'm a gap-to-gap -gap hitter. I'm not going to hit many home runs. I'll run into one every now and then, but I'm just going to stay above the ball and put them in the gaps and uh, let the horses run. So that's what I was trying to do tonight. What all was kind of said in the middle of the first inning when y'all come in and down seven to nothing? <sighs> we got some work to do. <laughs> That's the first thing, but uh, we never really panicked. They were still, a, you know, the uh, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to beat us all nine to beat us, and uh, it showed up late in the game. Got some big hits. Able to take the lead. They hit us back and uh, took the lead again. But Mac stuck with him, man. He's, you know, you, you can't you got to go one at bat to another. You can't carry in a bat with you to the next one, and he didn't. And he came up there and hit an absolute missile off the 380 sign in right center. Did you want another swing? What them they intentionally walked you there? I did, yes sir. I was I was man, I was locked in. I was like, man, I'm in two oh count, about to get a fastball. They put me on and as soon as they put me on, I was like, that's a mistake. You don't know who's behind me, guys. You must not know him too good because he can get a hit at any time. And uh, he did, came up big. Speaking of coming up big, how big was Marshall Gilbert's three run bomb to kinda get you guys back in? <sighs> big swing. The guy's been swinging it well the last couple couple games and uh He's been working hard too, and it really showing. He's, uh, I think he had what two hits tonight, two or three hits, with a bomb. The bomb really got us some momentum, and we took off from there. How much is the hitting from guys like Halter and Hancock, and and now tonight by Gilbert to solidify the bottom third of the order, ease the pressure there at the top of the order? <laughs> we're we're solid one through nine, and the good thing about our lineup is if I'm not hitting, West will be hitting. If West is not hitting, Jake's hitting. If Jake's not hitting, you know, somebody's going to pick us up. And it showed tonight. Bottom half of the lineup picked us up, and Luke Hancock's a freshman. The guy can hit, and your people, your guys will start seeing that very soon because you'll see him get more bats. Gunner has been swinging a hot bat lately, and uh, as you can see tonight he blistered her ball in the right center for a hit. So we're pretty solid one through nine. Who do you expect in an Oxford this weekend? It's going to be a tough atmosphere to play in. Those guys are really good. You know, we beat them in Jackson, but that doesn't mean anything. They'll come out for blood this weekend, and. Uh, those guys, uh, they can really pitch and really hit. So it's going to be all hands on deck this weekend to beat those guys.